Economics of Love สวัสดีค่ะ Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the third episode of Economics of Love with Dr. k w a n l u t a i b u n y a s e n a You can call me k u k i This program is broadcasting from r a c h m u n g k o n University of Technology, p r a n a k o n We see each other every Thursday at 9 to 9:30 a.m. Thank you for sparing us your time to listen to our love story and economics. Theory of Love. We hope you will be inspired to love others, including yourself, with happiness. This week is after celebrating the Songkran Festival or Songkran Day or Thai Water Festival. Thailand's signature festival has many names. Celebrated of the 13th to 15th of April, Songkran Festival is a special time when Thai summer turns cold. Why many travelers know that Songkran Day is also the traditional Thai New Year. Friendly water fighting has become synonym with the festival. Many travelers have enjoyed the Thai water festival suspect, but few have experienced the traditional beauty of Thai New Year. So, how about enjoying both fun and lovely moments in this special time? There are three important days during this festival. The 13th is the Grand Songkran Day, which is the first day of the year according to the Thai lunar calendar. The 14th is considered Thailand's National Family Day, and lastly, the 15th marks Thai National Elderly Day. Undoubtedly, Songkran Festival revolves around family values, reuniting with loved ones. Therefore, this three-day national holiday is similar to that of Christmas in Christian tradition. Therefore, today we are going to talk about family love in Thai culture. Welcome back to the first part of economics of love. Today we are going to talk about Thai family values. Western people who spend enough time around Thai people quickly learn how close most ties to their families. Even though Westerners can live many years in Thailand, most of them don't always understand how deep the Thai connect with family is. Or what it means if to be in a relationship or a marriage with a Thai person. Would you like to know about that? Like for most Asian cultures, Thai people are closer to their families than most Western people, which shows in every suspect of their lives. Thais will usually live with their family. Not only will the majority of Thais, both male and female, live with their families while in university, many also often continue to live with their parents after graduation, getting married, and beyond. This is gonna be very strange in Western culture, right? When Thai people get married, a large percentage of them still live with one of the couple's parents up to an end, even after they have children of their own. For Thais, it is important to be close to their family, and they do not like living away from them. From economic point of view, when Thai people become adults and have a family of their own, why deprive their parents of grandchildren, and why spend more money on a house of their own if they can live more cheaply with their parents, right? You see how smart Thai people are <laughs> nowadays. As Thailand modernized, 
this behavior is changing somewhat, but overall, unless they are living away from their family due to work, most Thais will continue to live with them. It's rather lovely, really. In my case, I don't live with my parents right now because I have to work in Bangkok. However, we still do keep in touch and often visit each other. In Thailand, family is as important as a lover or a spouse. Having family values in Thailand means if a Thai man or woman has to make a decision either for or against their parents' wishes versus for or against the wishes of their partner, they will often make a decision their parents want them to make. If you would like to marry Thai person, you have to prepare about this point. This is because Thai people appreciate so much what their parents did for them, bringing them up to taking care of them. That this means even when they are adults, they must pay their parents back. We call this katanyu in Thai language or grateful which is feeling or showing an appreciation of kindness and thankfulness. Therefore, Thai people take care of elderly parents. There is never a thought about putting elderly parents in a home which doesn't really exist much in Thailand or having someone else take care of their parents. This is just a given in Thailand that elderly parents will be taken care of by their children, and their children won't even feel remotely inconvenienced by it. In fact, in many cases, they will be likely to enjoy it. We can see that in Thailand, the most royal of all relationships is with parents. It's because they give us everything unconditionally, even it is love, support, all anything including money. Welcome back to the second part of Economics of Love. For Love Theory, today we are going to talk about love is investment. Mr. Nasir Grilani, who studied psychology, gave the comment that love is an investment because of these three reasons. One, you think about potential love interest, and it utilizes your cognitive resources. Two, you invest your emotions of care, passion, and romance. Three, you invest your time, which is a big commitment, and is related to the above too. Four, you invest your physical energy, even if you are talking on the phone. Technically, you are using your physical muscles and investing energy. You walk here and there following your interest, and that also is an investment. Five. You sometimes or oftentimes utilize your financial resources better on yourself or your love interest. Now, the question is whether it carries a negative or positive connotation. If it is of mutual benefit, invest more, but judiciously, since you may not always be at the receiving end only you must invest. If the situation is one side, after your love interest rejects your proposal, and you realize that it's no chance because of X, Y, or Z factors, then you should not invest because investing would be unwise. Not forcing your attention onto someone is a sign of maturity. This is his idea about love is investment. For me, love is a positive factor in our lives, no matter it is a good investment or not. If you expect to get the same things back when you invest, love might not be a good investment for you. However, 
if you expect to make your partner, children, parents, or friends to be happy from your love investment. That's it's called true love. How about your opinion? Please share with us. Welcome back to RMUTP News. d i z h e n g Laboratory is a digital interactive laboratory for education. l a t m u n g k o n University of Technology p r a n a k o n won a gold medal for it at Japan Design Idea and Invention Expo 2022. Our RMUTP research team created d i z h e n g Laboratory to improve a serious situation in education. It provides integrated teaching and learning with digital technology and hands-on training between students, teachers, and the robot, encouraging happy learning from all over the world with our hybrid technologies that combine online and on-site systems. For this research project, we work with. 10 institutions in Thailand and our friends from the University of t a m b r e in Finland, the University of Leicester in the UK, and Nihon University in Japan. After getting the initial results and receiving the bronze medal from the 48th International Exhibition of Inventions of Geneva 2022 in Switzerland. We improved d i g i t laboratory for on-demand learning to help our students gain access to knowledge-based content in real time, anywhere and at any time. Finally, our d i g i t laboratory team, which includes Mr. p o n k i t a n k a w Dr. t a t a n a k a m o n n a r a k i t r a k s a Dr. k w a n r i t h a i b u n y a s e n a which is me. Dr. s u n a n t a c h u t i n a n Mr. n a r o n g r a t t a n g t a n g and Professor Dr. Tomoko Kanda won a gold medal at Japan Design Idea and Invention Expo 2022. If you would like to see the Zhang Laboratory or receive the paper about this invention, you can contact me at q u a l i t y b k w a n r u e t a i dot b at r m u t p dot a c dot t h or send us a message in the comment box. Last but not least, I would like to say thank you for this information. Learn Thai Style dot com, Tasty Thailand dot com, and Kora dot com. To know more about love. Please join me every Thursday at 9 t o 9 30 a.m. at EnglishOnline.RMUTP.AC.TH or YouTube.com/slash/RMUTPLIVE8792. See you again next week. สวัสดีค่ะ Economics of Love.